probably one of the first in the world who found that tagging the keystroke um, and generating keystroke dynamics and collecting data about the typing skills uh, can be used to uh, secure access to computer system. We can identify persons by their keystroke dynamics and uh, which may involve the whole times and inter-key times. These days we call them flight time and dual time, as well as the, the, uh, the pressure to, because these days, in the old days, we have these traditional keyboard, but now with the new gadgets, we have now soft keys. So on the soft keys, we, get new, we can get new features, actually, such as the pressure you put when you hit there, and the times, and the, and the area of the fingers, and so on. And we found these also can give us rich data to quantify each individual user. So during the keynote speech, I will be talking about new results in that field, and how, especially as related to um, web access, web environment, because there you don't, as a user, you don't, uh, interact too much, so you don't have much data. So in such environment, we devise techniques related to keystroke dynamics, as well as mouse gesture, you know, and use the mouse also. Each, each of us has unique unique way of, uh, of using the mouse and a unique way of timing in the keyboard of a computer or, soft, or software of your cell phone or gadget, such as the tablet and others. So we are able to extract features that could identify the computer user uniquely. And we tested in 50 users and we found that technology is viable technology. Um, in terms of other, uh, social, the other behavior, because uh, the vice chancellor is a social scientist, there are other approaches uh, such as speech. Speech, some people consider it as sociological. Actually, it is behavior. It's behavior. They consider it behavior. And that's why you find somebody can uh, imitate the voice of other persons. Actually, several years ago in, uh, in Canada, there was an Ecubic, an announcer. He imitated the voice of uh, Sarkozy, who was, the, who was the president of France. And he called uh, Sarah Palin, who was a candidate to the vice presidency in the United States. And he called her, telling her he is um, uh, Mikhail Sarkozy and chatted with her, even he asked her about her plan if she wanted to run for the presidency. And she just, uh, an honest person, honest person, she kept talking to him about it and said, you know, you know, we don't know uh, your options, but you know, uh, rule out things, you know. And uh, after the end of the conversation, he told her, Madame, uh, Madame uh, Palin, uh, I am not Sarkozy, I am uh, John Michel Baptic, and I am uh, an announcer in a Kubik in a radio station in blah, blah. I told you the story to tell you that voice is considered behavior biometric and you could identify people from a voice, you know. Um, Udo is being now used also for, as a biometric feature to identify people, okay. Uh, this is just uh, giving you an appetizer about, uh, uh, actually entry about uh, my um, talk, uh, which will come after the opening session. Again, uh, I thank the organizers and the university for inviting me and for the warm welcome and hospitality. And uh, uh, I wish you enjoy the program and enjoy uh, your stay. If you are out of the state or out of the city, you will stay in the beautiful city of Tiraputi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for your uh, brief uh, in order to us, we are going to elaborate and begin the subsequent sessions. Allow uh, release of the seven eight by the three <laughs>
I will thank for him for that. And also, he is uh, very much delighted to see. I used to see only the pharmaceutical technologists, pharmacists around in and around. Now I see the engineers around. Uh, so many new things. What I used to read in the newspaper and WhatsApp and Facebook and all. Like, uh, I able to see. listen from the speakers and the, especially I am waiting for the keynote speech. And very much interesting. As a uh, my humble duty to give the presenter remarks, it is a very good uh, opportunity to all the scientists and researchers to use this uh, platform to interact. It is very difficult to get the distinguished speakers to speak to them in person. That is the whole uh, uh, beauty of these conferences. So you need to, the youngsters and researchers and seniors, juniors, all of you kindly interact with the speakers, share your ideas, get enlightened before you go to this place. And also, as a pharmaceutical technologist and pharmaceutical research uh, scientist, we have a lot to do with the computers. And without uh, the computers, we really don't move ahead. We also use uh, the data mining a lot. Right from the designing of the drug, we uh, look into the data before designing what is going to be the, the basic uh, molecule we want to select for designing for a new drug. We do the data mining for subsequently do the clinical research, animal research. We do a lot uh, using the um, resources available around in this area. I was also keenly interested to, uh, to know what is the science behind that. Probably we are the end users, like our mobile phones. Now we use our mobile phones and we don't bother about the, the technology inside it. Who bothers? As, as long as it is giving me a good uh, connectivity, good uh, backup of the battery, and good working, uh, really we don't bother uh, what is going to be actually going inside. Unless until we open it up and see behind uh, some ICs and all, we don't know, some boards and all. Other than that, we don't know. We don't see what is the software, we can see only the hardware. So therefore, it is going to be very interesting to all part of uh, the overall development of the science and technology. Uh, uh, as a basically a pharmaceutical uh, research, also we do a lot of uh, these things. Now I have the opportunity to listen what is actually the science behind that. So I am thankful to uh, the organizing committee for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to speak a few words. I wish all the delegates a, a fruitful. And uh, what I shall say, a pleasant stay in SPM meeting. Thank you. Now I request uh, Dr. N. V. Uttalakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, to propose one of thanks.
and he has said that the oxygen of all technology is ICT. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable uh, information. Sir, we actually we are in inspired with your thought-provoking address and definitely it will be helpful for the participants to strengthen the research activities. We would like to thank <coughs> Professor R. Nagaraj Garu, the in School of Sciences for gracing on this occasion as president and also for his valuable suggestions. Thank you, sir. We also thank to Professor T. Sudha Garu, Head, Department of Computer Science, for her encouragement and coordination in organizing this conference. Our special thanks to faculty and non-teaching staff of Computer Science Department for their benevolent and immense contribution in making this event a grand success. We take this opportunity to extend our thanks to delegates, scholars, invitees, participants, industrial guests from different institutions for their participation and sharing the knowledge through this conference. I am confident that this conference definitely helps the participants to enrich their knowledge in trust research areas in computer science fields like IoT enabled system and services, big data analytics, machine learning, nanotechnology, real-time systems, neural networks, internet security and applications, embedded systems, for computing and in many rising areas. Once again, I thank all the speakers on the dais for sharing their knowledge and expertise on the theme of the conference, computing, communication and data engineering. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you all. Now we have come to the end of the inaugural function. I have uh, uh, pleasure to invite all of you for a small team break.